There are people and puppies and stars and galaxies. How did all that come to be? It's the age-old question, where do we come from? How exactly was our planet formed? Now, thanks to a groundbreaking study, we have a better idea. So we run a set of high-resolution cosmological simulations, which allow us to follow the formation of galaxies from early after the Big Bang and then all the way down to the present day. Dr. Daniel Angles Alcazar and his team at Northwestern University used supercomputer simulations to explore the evolution of galaxies. What they discovered was amazing. It's a new phenomenon called intergalactic transfer. What we found out is that these galactic winds are actually connecting galaxies and are transferring a significant amount of material between galaxies, which was quite a surprising result for us. So all that material is ending up in the space between the galaxies, where it can then be swept up by other galaxies. And it's this balance this expulsion and then accretion that is transferring the material from galaxy to galaxy. Dr. Mordecai Mark Macklow is the curator of astrophysics at the American Museum of Natural History. What's remarkable about this study is that it showed that many of those stars weren't even in our own galaxy. In effect, our galaxy borrowed from other galaxies. Supernova explosions inside one galaxy transmits gas and material that end up in another galaxy. Galaxies don't grow apart from each other in isolation. Instead, they're constantly interacting with each other and trading material back and forth. What this all means, believe it or not, is that you and I may be part alien. Perhaps we could even consider ourselves that we are immigrants in our own galaxy, or at least that's in terms of the origin of the atoms that we, uh, that we are made of. This continues to confirm our understanding that the physics that we see here on Earth is the same as the physics we see halfway across the universe. But the intergalactic transfer doesn't exactly happen overnight. So even traveling at very high velocities, hundreds of kilometers per second, hundreds of miles per second, it still takes billions of years to actually travel these enormous distances. So while we continue to search for answers here on Earth, a lot of what we already know is from a galaxy far, far away. Steve Lacey, Fox 5 News.